everyone, it's Jules here with my December favorites. Uh, a little bit late, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna jump right in. I also have a bit of a haul for you, um, just because it's a good time to do it, because both my favorites and my hauls uh, are small, so. Together we'll make a decent sized video. So um, first off, things I have been uh, using this month and loving is I'm actually back to my um, Better Moisturizer. The skin um, has been dry, so I've been back to my uh, Neutrogena Oil Free um, Combination Skin um, Moisturizer. And I like that. Um, around my eyes, I've been using the Instant Age Rewind. I did do a review of this, which I'll link down below. Um, but I just love, love, love the brightening effect of this. And especially in the winter when I find my skin is really dull and discolored and there's a lot going on with everything, this is the, um, the best way to kind of brighten my eyes and then pull my whole look together. So I love that. Um, We'll go into my haul because it kind of goes into my favorites now. Um, at Winners, I picked up these um, Carez powders. It's the multivitamin compact powder. Uh, this is the box and it must be discontinued now because usually that's how Winners acquires things because there is um, a big stack of them. But these are the, the what they look like, these compact powders. And I picked up two different ones, sorry. I picked up two different ones because I wasn't sure of my shade, but they were so, so similar. Um, and then one is for oily combination skin and one is for the normal dry skin. So this is 11N and then this one is 12N. And there's really almost no difference to them at all. So at first when I tried these, I wasn't quite sure. Sorry, these are the, the two. And as you can see, there's almost no difference at all. But like, sorry, it comes with this um, applicator, this sponge, and I wasn't really keen on it. It looked kind of flaky and powdery, but then when I used it with um, my mineral foundation brush, it went on a bit smoother. So I really like it um, under, like under my moisturizer or when I use my um, BB cream. My skin's a little bit oily, so I'll put this on top. Or then I got this new product, um, and it's the uh, Physician's Formula Organic Wear. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. I don't really know what they call it. They don't, they just call it organic wear. Here's the box. Um, oh, what do they do on the back? 100% natural origin tinted moisturizer, um, which I thought was great because you know I'm trying to go into more natural products and I wanted to try this, but I wasn't that happy with it. It's pretty oily. Like I find it almost more oily um, than this Garnier. So let me just kind of show you. It comes in a, in a normal little tube. It's kind of a generous amount. It's, um, sorry, 44 milliliters, which is, I think is pretty good for a tinted moisturizer. Anyway, so it comes on like pretty goopy. It's hard to, to control the amount that comes out. And uh, it smells fine. It smells a little bit natural. And I think it was this color is actually a bit pink for my skin. Because you can tell here that it's looking a little bit pink. So anyway, it's, it's very similar to like a BB cream or another tinted moisturizer. It was nothing special for me. Just aside the fact that it's... Um, all natural which I obviously like better so whatever I'll try it out a little bit longer see how I feel it's also SPF 15 which is good so we'll see we'll just see <laughs> we'll put it we'll leave it like that so um, that was on sale I think I only got it for like seven dollars originally like you know physicians formula products are like 15 to 20 usually so we'll see about that um on my lips what i've been loving is actually um i think i've shown this before the shiseido lc4 uh, lip cram which is like this berry but underneath as i say a lot i like i prefer more moisture so i've been using um, a burt's bees lip shimmer in the shade of coffee which is not that flattering of a color on me it's a little bit brown but mixing these two together um is what i have right now and i kind of like it so um, the brown one is coffee and the more pink one is uh, the Shiseido lip. So I'm sure a lot of people have heard of the Beauty Blender um, sponge by now, but it retails at about $20, which I found really expensive, especially for something I wasn't sure if I was gonna like. So I saw this one at Winners. Um, the brand is Swissco actually, which is, they make like hair products and combs and stuff. So it's a pretty reputable brand. So I don't know why they went into um, makeup sponges, but anyway, it's a really similar um, kind of look. Basically you just wet it. Mine's dirty, sorry, it's kind of gross, but um, I kind of like it. I, I'm maybe, I'm still getting used to using it because you're supposed to like roll it on and um, I've been kind of dabbing and, and you know, seeing which foundations work better. I've been, I've used um, the Revlon Color Stay with this. I've also kind of used um, my tinted moisturizers with it to kind of see um, the different effects it gives and I think it's good. So I only paid um, $9 for this, which is half price 
compared to the big one, so, or the brand name one, so I'm just glad that I picked this up. So um, we've been exploring with that. Um, for eyes, I'm totally back on my uh, Maybelline One by One Volume Express. I forgot how much I loved it. I do really like Maybelline mascaras and I just really like um, the application of this, of the uh, plastic brush. I just think it's, um, my husband's yelling at my cat. Um, yeah, so I, I really like this and it's funny how you always forget how good and like using a new mascara is because I'm the type of person that will try to stretch that three month period and be like oh it's still good oh it's still good but then as soon as you open a new one you're like this one is good like this is the formula I need because old mascaras get dried out and then the application is just not as good so anyway that's my uh, opinion on mascara um on for food random but I've been loving um tangerine oranges other known also known as clementines I guess seedless is preferred of course um, just a great little snack, especially when there's so many cookies and sweets around, but you want that something to munch on. I've been reaching for these and I love them. Um, speaking of sweets, I did some holiday baking and I'm addicted to ginger snaps. Is it tacky to say I like my own baking? I don't know, but um, ginger snaps are so delicious. Um, this recipe was super easy um, and basically you just roll them into balls, roll them in sugar, and then they come out this and they're all crackled and beautiful looking. So I uh, love that. Um, around the holidays, especially I love candles. Um, I'm not a big like scented person with the Bath and Body Works candles. It's just not that appealing to me, but I love beeswax candles. I burn them all the time. This one is just a pillar that I had. And then this actually my mom gave me, um, it's a little pine cone beeswax candle and oh, they just smell so good. Like I can't even explain how delicious I find them to be, but I love them. Um, so those have been burning all around my house for sure. Um, now I'll do my Forever 21 haul. Just got a couple things, including this shirt I'm wearing. Um, it's just white and yellow stripes. There's a little pocket here. It's loose. It curves up a bit at the side. Um, cuff sleeve here, three quarter length, flowy. And I think it was originally supposed to be 17 or something around there. And when I checked the bill later, it was only 7.99. So I had no idea it was on sale. So it was such a good surprise. I think it's really cute and I guess you know, because it's winter and everything's white, it's nice to have a bright, sunny, uh, yellow color. So I've been loving that. And now this next shirt, which is inside out because I wore it already. Um, again, I just really like the colors. I hoped it didn't look too spring-like or too Eastery, but it's this just a plain um, purple and yellow striped shirt. Long sleeve, has a nice fit. It's a little bit loose, not too tight. Um, and then at the top, it's just like a little, um, I don't know, hem seam line there, I guess you could say a seam line. Um, so that is that and I thought that was cute. So just sort of wrapping this up, the last thing I will include is uh, my Bath and Body Works hand soap. I'll include a little uh, clip of how I present that in my downstairs bathroom here. So this is the uh, Christmas display I have in my bathroom. There I am. Um, yeah, so anyway, this bow is on it because I was actually going to gift it, but I ended up not needing it, and so I actually kind of like the way it kind of ties everything together. This is just a vase from Ikea I filled with um, Christmas balls. This is a little uh, scented candle I have here, and uh, there's the holly berry wreath soap, which I think is so cute. I'm not really big on um, buying those Bath and Body Works hand soaps just because it's way more cost effective to refill um, your own soap pump, but I ended up with one extra. I was giving them away as Christmas gifts, and so I kept one for myself, and I just love it, and I love the way it displays in the bathroom and the way it smells. And so that is all. I hope you all had a really, really good Christmas and having a great 2013 New Year so far. Uh, we have lots coming up for you, and so I can't wait to share it all. Uh, thank you so much for your support, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.